Hey guys, good morning. This is Chen. Uh, today I want to talk to you about the plant support. Um, I always like to use the plant support and so with plants like um, trillings or the climbing plants, um, very typically with the philodendron um, as well as um, um, some kind of the, like ivies. Um, when you guide the plants in upwards and really give them a nicer body instead of just laying flat. Sometimes some plants, if you don't give them the vertical support and uh, it's just not really justifying their beauty of um, fully showcasing, you know, the aesthetic look of the plant. So it is important to understand and to know how to use the plant support. And uh, today I also want to show you how you can make your own uh, moss pole or your so-called cocoa fiber pole um, instead of uh, using and the store-bought ones. But first, let me show you. I have a couple of plants over here I previously already staked. So one is this uh, philodendron. They're very um, typical ones over here that um, I used a bamboo stick as, a, as my um, plant support, as you can see, the middle one over here. Um, the reason I use this one just because um, they normally trail really, really well. They don't really need any additional, um, you know, kind of grow media wrapped around um, this stick. So I simply just used a bamboo stick like this to uh, stick that into the pot and attach the branches to the stick. Now in this pot, I actually uh, that was one of the earlier ones I did. So in this part, I still use the twist ties to attach the plant branches to the stick, as you see over here, I did a couple of places. However, in my later work, I stopped using the twist ties because um, they're a little bit of just uh, uh, too much work. So instead, what I used is that I kind of took a shortcut. So I used um, these guys. So I used orchid clips like these. Um, I think they work extremely well, honestly, because all I need to do is um, um, once I find the place in a word to attach to the poles, I just uh, simply clip it, you know, with the branch and the stake together like this. So it's really, really simple. And uh, the beauty of this is uh, when I used orchid clips, um, you can reuse them many, many times. And uh, with a twist tie, sometimes you always have to cut them and then they're no longer good. So um, I'm all about sustainable and reusable. So I highly recommend um, orchid clips. And um, so this one is a philodendron. I used a bamboo stick simply just as a plant support. And you can see this guy is trailing upwards and growing upwards. Um, instead of uh, if I um, hadn't staked this guy, um, likely all these branches would be falling, you know, downwards, and which is not bad, but again, that when you're looking for different aesthetic look of the plant, you don't want all your plants to be draping. Some plants you want to trilling and you want to go upwards. So um, using a plant stake is a really, really good way. Um, so this one is a 12 inches long, 12 inches tall stake. It uh, works really well for small to medium size of the plant but it doesn't support any plant that is bigger than that. Apparently, if you have a bigger plant, you need a taller pole. So uh, another plant I have over here is a uh, philodendron Swiss cheese. So this plant, you can see that is a little bit bigger, but mm -hmm. I'm using a completely different plant support over here. This is a totem. This is a totem um, plant stake, which means not only this, um, uh, this thing support the plant and the secure the plant, but also um, this whole thing can be soaked in water and get wet. When you attach the branches of the plant to this pole, um, be, with this being wet, actually encourages the side shoots and encourages the uh, area roots for the plants to grow. So um, along these kind of the stems, there are many nodes 
um, the nodes actually are all side potential side shoots and side branches that can develop into another branch, um, given it the suitable conditions. So, and these kind of the totems really great for encouraging side shoots. And uh, if you want your plan and to look really, uh, really full and really bushy, um, I highly recommend to consider something rather than just a bare stick without any grow media to it. Um, recommend you to work with the, the plant stick that has some grow media wrapped around it and it can contain some kind of the moisture and encourage, encourage the side shoots growing uh, of the plant. So um, this guy looks really good as you can tell, you know, after I staked it, um, it's guiding this plant to grow upward instead of had I not to, you know, stake it, he would be just uh, falling to the side. All these branches would be just going down instead of going up. So, um, again, that it is a great idea to stake your plant in uh, using the plant stake. Uh, you do can buy those totems at our store. This is the one I use over here. Um, it includes this, uh, this main part and also a bag of the pins. So those pins are the ones that I'm using over here to secure the branch to the main part. Like, I'm taking one off right here. So just a U-shaped flower pin. So you gently just pin the branch into this middle part to secure it. And again, this can be reused, um, you know, clean and reused over and over again. Um, now, next, I want to show you that how to make your own plant steak. Mainly, uh, we'll be making um, the totems, basically the DIY the totem ourselves, using simple material that any you can get um, from our store. So, I will be doing two versions today. One version is a short version. Basically, we'll be working with the stake that is about two feet long. So this size of the stick will be suitable for medium to, you know, medium large size of the indoor plants. Um, and then we'll be working with a much longer, much longer version. This is about uh, four feet. So this is about four feet. Um, we'll be wrapping this in a grow media and this will be really good for the large size of the indoor plants, you know, something like Bird of Paradise, uh, Monstera, um, or any bigger indoor house plants will be really good for this size. But if you would buy this at a store, you can easily spend, you know, up to $50 uh, for things like this, but you can easily make this yourself. Just uh, take a little bit of time and a little bit of uh, practicing, and you can just make a piece works just as great as uh, the store-bought one. So let's get started. So first of all, I want to introduce a few material and you will be needing to make this uh, um, totem pole. Um, of course, you need uh, the steak, just like a bamboo stick or any wood stick. Um, doesn't have to be something, you know, too specific, even anything that um, give you the length and uh, that can handle being wet or be suitable for doing that. And the thickness, um, you decide. If you want your final pole to be a little bit thicker, the core part you can go, you know, with a little bit of a wider material. Um, if you want your final, you know, product to be, um, you know, not too thick, um, choose the ones that are a little bit skinny. So um, th those ones are just uh, uh, coming off of a bamboo trellis. I just assembled a bamboo trellis. So I have those bamboo stick. They work really, really well. So I'm gonna work with these. And then you need a some sort of the wrapping in a grow media, like we said, that um, this will be something you wrap outside of the bamboo stick or your, um, your, your bear stick. Uh, what I use over here is, um, I'm gonna use two different kinds of the material. Um, with the shorter ones, like the two feet ones I'm using here, I will be using this hemp mat. 
So if you have been watching our videos, you probably have seen me mentioning about this material. So this is what we use for growing our microgreens as well. So it comes in this 1020 shape, 1020 size. 10 inches on this size and 20 inches over here. So this is a finished ready sheet. It's made of organic hemp. So it's 100% organic and 100% decomposable. On the back side of here is uh, a sheet of uh, backing made of paper. And then you have your front side to be your hemp. So I'm going to use this. It's very soft. I'm um, going to use this to be my wrapping material with my shorter version of the plant poles. Um, and then with the long one, I will be using a cocoa core. So you must be really familiar with this. This is a, uh, you see this a lot of springtime people use for their hang basket, uh, using for their windowsill box. This is made of a cocoa husk. So again, it's a natural material. It's just more fibrous. So with the longer ones, the four feet ones, I will be using a sheet of this. Show you, like I will be using, like I just happen to have this loose piece randomly sitting around. I think I will be using this sheet. You know, it's not perfect, but it's, uh, it's good enough for what I'm, what I'm gonna do here today. So I'll be using this sheet to wrap this uh, four feet once. It's a uh, fairly long, a uh, four feet once with the cocoa core. Um, and then you need um, some kind of the wrapping um, strings. So you can use fish lines, you can use um, different kinds of materials, but I'm using floral wire. Floral wire is uh, these kind of uh, thin metal thin metal wire, as you can see over here. Um, I'm going to use these because uh, the shapeability of them. I'll be using this to wrap, to final tie and uh, wrap the grow media on my stick. So, um, and then your cutting tool, like your scissor to cut a wire. Um, simple as that. So let's get started. Okay, first I'm gonna work um, on this uh, shorter version of the plant stick. Uh, I'm laying this uh, hemp mat upside down with the paper backing uh, facing up. And then I place this uh, bamboo stick into the, uh, onto the, this hemp mat. Now pay attention that you want to leave a little bit of a uh, um, bamboo stick from the bottom. This is the part that you will be staking into the pot so you don't want your grow media to be all the way you know all the way to the bottom and uh, it's not necessary so uh, leave the portion that you think will be staking inside into the flower pot aside then on top you could also have a little bit of uh, extra room that's okay and we'll fold it over um, as we go so just simply start rolling this uh, material onto the bamboo stick. Just uh, kind of use your finger to tuck it away as you roll. And uh, this top part, you can fold it over as you roll, and then just keep rolling like that. Okay, so really, really easy. Now we already have 90% of the work done. Next, we just need to wrap this with our floral wire. So grab a floral wire and uh, on one end, I'm gonna hold on to the top part. And then the other end, I'm just gonna start wrapping them. Make a couple of loops with the uh, one side and then the other side, you just kind of uh, crisscross, crisscross your pattern. And uh, when you get to a point, just twist tie it to hold it in place. So this is the top piece. And uh, apparently my wire is not long enough, so I have to grab another 
another piece. So, so this one is already done. Like as you can see, it's really, really simple to make one like that. So this is a two feet long totem pole I just made with uh, simply three material, hemp pad, floral wire, and a bamboo stick. Now this one you can easily soak into the water, get this wet, and attach that into the pot wherever you want to um, start trilling um, your plants. So the top you can see is also covered. Um, yeah, so this one is done. It's just really, really simple. So next, I want to show you how to make an even bigger one for your much bigger plant using our cocoa core um, like this. So it's a little bit of a bigger size of the um, you know, plant steak, but uh, it will be workable. First one, and uh, we will be laying this mat down. It's a much bigger mat. And uh, then, like always, we leave a little bit of, uh, you know, extra at a base and uh, kind of line it up, start rolling our material. It doesn't have to be perfect and just do your best because as long as you can get the, the basic shape together, it doesn't have to be perfect. And of course, nothing is absolutely perfect in this world. Um, just start rolling. Okay, so this is basically the rough shape of it. And I'm just gonna kind of uh, hold this over together. Now uh, with this really long ones, I probably not gonna use my floral wire to um, tie it up because again, my floral wires are pretty short. I will be using many, many of these. So with uh, my much bigger long version ones, I'm going to use this uh, hemp rope to tie it up. And this is also made out of hemp. Um, it's not really absorbent of water. It's kind of like a rigid. So I will be using this row of the hemp rope um, to tie, tie it up my um, plant poles here. Okay, so um, we got our second one done, and it, it's a really long one, really long one. Don't know if you can see, but um, this would just be almost the same thing as you would spend up to $50 in to buy from the store. But what, what it is really is, is just you know, a stick and a wrapped with some kind of the grow media that can contain moisture. Just kind of shape it with your hands, loosen it up and adjust it a little bit. But it only takes 
five minutes to make this. So this one will be really good to stake your, you know, bigger plant inside of the house, like your fiddle leaf fig or your um, birds of paradise and the monsteras and all that. So uh, that's all for today. I hope that you really, you know, kind of uh, can have some um, takeaway from today's video. Um, if you like our video and wanted to continue to watch and see what we have to share, uh, follow us on Facebook and Instagram as well as subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we'll continue to upload videos like this and for you to, um, to learn. And uh, if you have any comments, feel free to share with us. Again, this is Chen. Um, we wish you a great day.